So uh, for folks, this is the current mayor of Binghamton, Matthew Ryan. Um, so uh, he's been mayor since 2006. January 1st, 2006. All right. What was your first reaction when you heard about the shooting? What was running through your head? Because this isn't something that really happens every day, I can imagine, and the, just the absolute tragedy it was aside, it was probably really surreal as well. Yeah, well, I was uh, actually trying to reach the chief on another matter, the chief of police, and, uh, and then I heard the news that there had been a shooting, and, and there was actually one of the captains who was going there. He didn't, nobody really knew the scope of it at that moment because it was pretty close to the mm -hmm. original call. So I didn't know what to think immediately. But when I got over there and, and started hearing some of the stories about, uh, you know, that they had, you could actually, later on, what I saw myself was a number of people who had been killed and right in the front window. It was uh, obviously, you know, just a total shock. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't think it can happen <laughs> in, in a community like this. That's what everybody says it couldn't happen here, but after it does, you realize it could probably happen anywhere. That's a little scary, obviously. When I, um, I was coming off of 81 at, oh, I think it might have been just before 11 o'clock, a Broome County Sheriff's office, uh, car came right by us, and at the time, I didn't really think too much of it. And then I noticed that the, the, they had SWAT cars, and it was blocked off, and... <laughs> yeah, it was, um, you know, it was, uh, a great response by all our um, first responders, though, the police, the fire, the EMTs, and then eventually, obviously, the medical personnel at the hospitals, um, the people who eventually did the identifying of the bodies and the autopsies, and then the crime victims' assistance, all the way from the federal government down to local government. Uh, we, we had an incredible response and incredible um, support from the community, and, and we wanted to tell people that this is not what Binghamton is about. Yeah. This is a, an aberration and this is a good community that honors its, uh, its immigrant tradition and its diversity. Yeah, I mean, immigrant is a very big part yeah. of, of this culture. Yeah, I mean, they used to say, which way, EJ, that with only four words they knew as they got off the Ellis Island. And uh, that's because this community has always had such a welcoming uh, um, welcoming mat set out for people who wanted to come here for opportunity perception. Safety-wise, we are one of the safest cities, uh, barring, you know, that obviously yeah. the, <laughs> the tragedy that happened was uh, an aberration, but if you look at our crime rates, our violent crime rates, and those kinds of crimes that actually people are, for, would, you know, perception-wise be afraid to come downtown, we don't have those kinds of yeah. muggings uh, all the time and, mm -hmm. and real violent crimes or, you know, against uh, persons that's mostly economic crimes. And uh, we're like, for instance, I compare us to Utica, they have five times the gun violence we do, uh, similar size city. So we have a great police force, they do a great job, and, and it's just uh, an area that uh, is just not that much crime. And uh, people who, you know, if you talk to people who come here from other places, mm -hmm. they go, I moved here because it's so crime free. Yeah. Other people who haven't been anyplace else, obviously, yeah. Any crime is too much, but uh, you know sometimes it's good to step out and see well, how the other rest of the world lives as being affected by crime and then come back here and realize how, how low our crime rate really is. Yeah. Well, one of the things certainly is uh, Binghamton University, again, we have to go back to that. There's a group of young people there called Kick 2020, Catalyst for Intellectual Capital who have a goal of keeping 20% of the graduates here by the year 2020. Now that's a very that's ambitious. That's a very interesting, yeah. yeah. It's a very ambitious goal, but it shows you that there are people who love this community, have been here in school, and recognize that they want to stay here. And the only reason they're not staying is because of jobs. That, mm -hmm. again, brings in the university, the new technology center, the new engineering center. Uh, apply, you know, there's going to be a lot of good jobs incubated out of that area. We're already working with Southern Tears Opportunity Coalition and uh, all the people at the university trying to find the right formula for incubation that will work in our community and uh, reaching out to uh, try to make sure that any of the ideas that come out of this great research institution now that they've become uh, are incubated in this area and will create jobs. So that's one of the things and obviously 
we have an older population. We just mm -hmm. got named the best community to retire in, <laughs> which means some of those people had to leave because they didn't have jobs who love this area. Some of them are coming back. I've mm -hmm. talked to a lot. But we can't rely on just the elderly population. Right. So we have to you know, reach out to every sector we can, but especially to our young people and ways to retain them and keep them here. And I think everybody has that same goal in this community. And if we're successful at that, a lot of things will take care of themselves.